What's up everyone and welcome to our reaction to The Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 7. I'm Jason, this is Bree, and that's Kaylee. Star Wars Celebration was this past weekend. I know. And there was a lot of good stuff that came out of Star Wars Celebration. We got the Ahsoka trailer. I know! Which, it pretty much confirmed what we've been talking about on these episodes over the last couple weeks, that mm -hmm. we are going to get Rebels characters, and Thrawn is probably the big bad that we're working towards and everything. We also got the confirmation that Thrawn is being played by the voice actor himself mm -hmm. in Rebels, which is, I'm probably going to screw up the last name, but Lars. Uh, Mickelson? No, yeah. Is that it? <laughs> Something tells me because he's already been casted and confirmed, maybe he's a wild card to show up in this show between this episode or next week's episode. You know how Mandalorian is with the wild cameos. <laughs> and, I know. And celebrity appearances. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but Lizzo and Jack Black was everything. Dude, last week's episode was a lot of fun. Also, why is seeing Jack Black doing any Jack Blackish type things in any universe? It just is normal. You see him and you're like, oh hey, yeah, it's Jack Black. No. Like, you know what? That makes sense. It does. It makes sense. Yep. Of course, Absolutely. of course, you're in Star Wars. Absolutely. <laughs> Grogu getting knighted in last week's episode, <laughs> becoming Sir Grogu. Sir Grogu. Sir Grogu. Yeah. The most like probably important piece of last week's episode is. Bo-Katan getting the dark saber mm -hmm. as she's trying to unite all of Mandalore. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious to see where this week's episode is going to be. Mm -hmm. It's titled The Spies. You know, we're probably finally going to get the Moff Gideon episode that we've been speculating on mm -hmm. these last uh, these last couple of weeks. So we're probably also going out going to find out who broke out Moff Gideon. Is it your favorite person, Red Biscuits? <laughs> is it Mandalorians that broke? broke him out? The armor. Is it a spy that's yeah. within the group of Mandalorians? The spies. The spies. That's a, the spies seems like a pretty, pretty yeah. good guess. Yeah, totally. Seems like pretty solid. You guys Got nailed it. In. Crushed it. Final, Final answer. answer. <laughs> yeah. Tell <a> friend. <laughs> nope, I got it. I say let's go ahead and hop into it. Cool. Let's get to it. I will never not be happy to visit this place. Ever. <laughs> her again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like her. Mm -mm. Some real uh, Blade Runner vibes though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's those crazy to me how big those droids are. Mm -hmm. They always look like they are so small far away and everything and then they get up close and it's just like holy shit they're, mm -hmm. they're about as big as a person. <laughs> And make it quick, as I am short on time. Yep, there you go. Sir, I'm afraid the pirates have run into trouble on Navarro. Magistrate Cargo is aided by Mandalorians. Which Mandalorians? Oh, I think you know who. Bo-Katan Kree's led a squadron of Mandalorians alongside Din Djarin and his covert. This cannot be. I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. How would she know this information, though? Yo, this is sick. It'd be cooler if I didn't hate him so much. <laughs> Those uh, stormtroopers almost look a little similar to the First Order stormtroopers. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Easy for you to say, Captain. There's a fortune to be had, plundering the hyperspace lanes. Commander, your hit and run operations are gaining too much notice. Still a group of the Empire working together. Mm -hmm. Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will Herald in the re-emergence of our military and provide Commandant Huts enough time to deliver on Oh! Any word on when he will be able to participate in the Shadow Council? The Shadow Council? I hear whispers from one end of the galaxy to another and never a word of Thrawn. Perhaps it's time we look to new leadership. Yeah, yeah. I also hear whispers, Gideon. Yeah, I was gonna you wonder if this was you. like and we're Hux's attempting dad. Your experiments on Navarre. Maybe. He received your request. Three Praetorian guards. Sounds Praetorian like someone guards. Is concerned about an assassination attempt. And what is your security concern? Mandalorians. What? I am increasingly confident that they are preparing to retake their home world of Mandalore. 
You'll have your reinforcements. And your guard. We shall be rid of the Mandalorians once and for all. How'd that go for you the first time? <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Just the kind of episode I've been wa wanting for this mm -hmm. for this season. It's, was that Hux's? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I feel like I'm pretty sure it is. I feel, I feel it like is. It, it, it probably is. Yeah. I, I feel like it is because. Thinking more about the timeline, it's like. From Return mm -hmm. of the Jedi to Force Awakens is 30 years. Mm -hmm. And the start of this show was about six years after Return of the Jedi. So that's yeah. what I'm saying about 20 to 25 years. Yeah. Aw, Daddy Hux. <laughs> Look at the markings. Oh, oh. privateers. I'll that was dead oh. sick. <laughs> I hope these two groups get along. They've never met. And what little they know of each other, they hate. They will if they want to survive. <laughs> He's just chilling in her lap. <laughs> like, should have a picnic or barbecue to team you know, building, you team know? Building. Yeah. Two very different clans. Mm-hmm. Welcome, fellow Mandalorians. We invite you to make camp. Let us prepare a seat for our guests. Yeah, the armorer knows what she's doing. <laughs> she's shady, I'm telling I, you. She, I know, she's for sure. She's shady. Don't worry, <laughs> I, I have my doubts about her too, but... Smack. Mando. Is it too Welcome much to back, ask that he takes his helmet off? Back. Right. That's quite That's a fleet you've assembled. <laughs> Maybe it's not actually Pedro under the helmet right now. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Pedro's probably filming Last of Us at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, what did you do to IG-11? No, that's IG-12 now. They've removed his memory circuit. The pilot provides cognition. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's like, no, Mal. He's going to climb all the way up. <laughs> it's more like a vehicle. <laughs> Wait, is Grogu actually getting in that thing? I hope so. He's too little to operate this. No, no. Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. Maybe when he's older. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> he already knows. <laughs> mm -mm. Get him out of there. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is not a good idea. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Oh my gosh. Stop. No. Yes. Hey. Oh. 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 This isn't working for me. Grogu's gonna Wait. get the hang of it. Wait. Those aren't the birds, are they? No. No, those are foundlings, technically, right? That's what I thought. Technically, but they yeah. look a whole heck of a lot like those birds. The birdodactyls, whatever they were. Mandalorian. It is time to retake our homeworld. I need volunteers from both tribes. Tricky. I will go. Grogu is well. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will go. I will go. I will go. Oh, yeah. I will go. I will go. 
<laughs> She's like, no, you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. Okay, so everybody's going. I will go as well. Of course you will. Aww. Shady, shady. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of worried that things weren't going to quite go your way mm. this time around, but maybe, maybe that's not the case. It's worse than I thought. I always forget they have jetpacks. <laughs> You're just thinking they're free falling. I'm like, falling. oh, they're okay. <laughs> we'll survey the surface until we find the forge and create a safety zone. Only then will we begin to bring down the settlers. Form up. Start making believers out of some of the people. I don't like it. Do you think the armor is leading them to a trap? I. She's shady, man. I know. <laughs> I could be completely wrong, but she's sure, just, yeah. she's shady. Whoa. Hmm. Huh. Do you have food? <laughs> we do. Has a man just been living on this planet for for a long time? <laughs> Maybe. That's a boy. Oh. It is? We knew you would not forsake us, Lady bo -Katan. Your blasters remain in your service. Wow. Oh, okay. man. They punished us. It's a warning to the whole galaxy because we refused to surrender. After our forces were annihilated in the Night of a Thousand Tears, and defeat was imminent. I met with Moff Gideon. In exchange for submitting to the Empire and disarming, all remaining cities and Mandalorian lives were to be spared. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the Darksaber. Mm. Wow. Mandalore has always been too powerful for any enemy to defeat. It is always our own division. That destroys us. Brought them on the brink of destruction when Maul took over Mandalore back in Clone Wars, so... Yeah, she's right. I had no idea. We were taught that everyone but us had forsaken the way. That you were selfish and uncaring. We'll rebuild it. Isn't that our history? For thousands of years, we have been on the verge of extinction. We have survived. Oh, I thought she was going to hit him. <laughs> and this blade is all I have to unify our people. I only know of this weapon what you taught me. What means more to me is honor and loyalty and character. Your song is not yet written. I will serve you until it is. Okay. Damn. Uh -huh. Onward, Mandalorians! To the forge! This is, this is cool. Mm -hmm. it's so cool seeing them all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kick in the Mandalorian theme? Let's go. <laughs> Like that. The enforcer moves like a wing guard when it's flanking. These primitives make up their own rules for everything. Oh my goodness. Like <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Fun. Okay. Cool. I thought everyone was just standing around like, well, let's see what happens. Star Wars chat? Star Wars chess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! No, 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 no. Way to go, Grogu! Yeah! <laughs> you gotta listen to Grogu. Tight 
technically he's neither side. That's true. He's right in the middle. He doesn't want his mom and his dad's friends to fight. You taught your apprentice well. Oh. You didn't learn that from me. <laughs> Aww. Mm. There! On the starboard bow! Oh, what is this? Oh, no. no, it's a whatever this is. Yeah. It's Godzilla. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Well, there goes that. Who would have thought they had to deal with a big ass kaiju in this episode? <laughs> is this the Great Forge? I think so. This is what's left of the Great Forge. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this was once the heart of our civilization. Jetpacks. More survivors. Mm. No! Damn. That's what that that's what the stormtrooper armor was. Wow. I can make a run for the fleet and get us reinforcement. No, it's too far. I can make it. It's our only shot of taking the planet back. There's a split in the ceiling there. For real though, these stormtroopers look very close to being in between like mm -hmm. Imperial troopers and like First Order troopers. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I don't think so, pal. Yeah. Remember, Moff Gideon said he wanted bombers too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not retreating. Oh. Yeah. They're not. It's an Imperial base. What is this place? It's an Imperial base right in here. It's a trap. That's what it is. Yep. It's an airport. Oh my goodness. Uh-uh. What's going on? Uh-uh. Oh my goodness. You janky Darth Vader wannabe. I have created the next generation dark trooper suit. Forged from Beskar. And the most impressive improvement is that it has me in it. You see, every society has something to offer. Why don't we take your fleet off the board while we still have the element of surprise? No. Activate the interceptors and bombers. No. My goodness. Wow. Uh-uh. Take him to the debriefing. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Yeah. We have to stop meeting like this. I'll make sure of it. Let's skip the pleasantry, shall we? Surrender the dark saber and tell these people that this planet is mine. This is the way. It is really cool that when it comes down to it, the Mandalorians will mm -hmm. put aside their differences mm -hmm. to work together. No. Oh. Broke the bottom. Fall back. Oh no. No, passes. No. No. There are too many. This is the way. D no? Wow. What the fuck it is? You have a kid? 
kid. It's gonna uh, get hot. Uh huh. Bye. Man. Dude, like tin tough. cans for him. No, 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 no. It's gonna take both of them down. Whoa! Oh, it's the guards! Oh my goodness. No! Are you just... Oh. Damn. Wow. Oh my god. Freaking Moff Gideon. I this know, guy, right? Dude. He's die already. <laughs> what a what an episode. I yeah. still don't trust the armor if that wasn't already clear. <sighs> yeah, like honestly though, like she's never around when they have to fight them. Or You're when right. they show up. You're right. She's never there. You're right. Yeah, the only time she was at, the only time she was around to help fight was against the pirates. Mm-hmm. Which that could have also just been a cover too, you know. And what if she was forging all of these? All of the armor yeah, for that. Yeah, all of it. absolutely. All of it. Yeah, absolutely. The Imperial base is pretty much set up right in the Great Forge. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if it's not the armor that's been working on it, then it's got to be some other Mandalorian that they have working on this Beskar armor too. But yeah, I think you guys are right. I definitely think the armor is the spy. Which is just so sad because for a while there, it was just her and has right mm -hmm. yep. and now he's the first to go and it's like be kind of because of her if it is because of her yeah i just i don't trust and i could be completely wrong i just i you don't, could. I, yeah, I don't for like sure. the armor for sure something about her is off we'll, de yeah. we'll definitely find out about just next theories week for sure. yeah guys next week's episode is the final episode of the season you know what i feel like this is exactly what we needed for this season because this season has felt very up and down with everything. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it Genuinely. too. Like it's been, it's been a very fun, like adventure of the week. Yeah. Kind yeah. of like season. Yeah. We struggled to kind of like figure out, okay, what is the overall plot of season three? They I, mentioned Thrawn. They did mention Thrawn. We they finally did. got that. So he's either going to come back in Ahsoka or maybe there's a possibility he that comes we back see next, him next week. week. Yeah. If Makes we see sense. him next week, who else might we see next week? I don't think we see Ezra soon. I'm not saying Ezra. Who are you thinking? Anybody. Anybody. <laughs> I'm just excited. <laughs> do, you think, do you guys think we get either anyone like Boba Fett or Luke Skywalker? It'd be so cool to see Luke. I, it would be really cool. I feel like it would be more likely though that we would probably see Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. Yes. Or we, we would see um, Ahsoka and like maybe Sabine. Yeah, I think you're right. She's a Mandalorian. This season of Mandalorian in particular is very built built into Mandalorian culture mm -hmm. and everything. So it wouldn't have surprised me if there was any other guest cameos to appear in next week's episode, if it was focused on a Mandalorian type character. Maybe it is Sabine. Maybe since Sabine is supposed to be a character that shows up in, in Ahsoka, mm -hmm. that she's kind of like the bridge between- Between the two shows. Between the two shows. Yeah. But this episode was really good. It's it definitely great. it's definitely my favorite episode of the season so far. I mean, you know, minus Paz. Minus Paz. R.I.P. Paz. You did your best. The fact that we got those where they I can't remember what the guards were called, like Praetorian guards. Yeah. I think they called it. They looked like the ones from The Last Jedi. Right, yeah. Those are definitely tough guys to beat, for sure. Yeah. Maybe maybe it will take a Jedi to take them down. We'll find out. I'm very excited for next week's episode. Also mm -hmm. kind of sad that it's already the last episode I of know. Mandalorian. I know. This has been a fun season and everything, but I definitely feel like it's probably the lesser of the other two seasons, for sure. But I'm just, I'm just enjoying I'm, I'm having fun with it. I Star Wars content is always fun. It's always it fun. It always is, yeah. Exactly. You know, I'm not mad or upset about it or anything like that. I just like, like Star Wars. I just like Star Wars, yeah. 
And I will watch the animated series. Yes, soon. yes, yep. yes. You have to. I really want to get you going on. I will know what you guys are talking about soon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get you going on some of the Clone Wars stuff, but yes. I definitely would love to get you caught up with Rebels so that you're so that you're in the know with mm -hmm. Ahsoka. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. All right, guys, that'll do it for us this week. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you really liked today's episode, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, we're out.